What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Kazam and welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, we're going to be diving into a new Escape from Tarkov resource that I, I just found. Maybe it's not new, but I just found it not too long ago uh, that blew my mind and would have absolutely revolutionized how I learned this game if I had this when I had just started. So we're going to dive into that. I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch a few days a week. All my links will be down below and I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. So. This resource is a website, mapgenie.io slash Tarkov. Now, Mapgenie is apparently a company that has created interactive maps for a ton of other games, but I just stumbled across the other day, one of my mods sent me a link, and it's uh, the, the Tarkov site on their site. Um, and they create some of the most amazing interactive maps. So we'll, we'll click here. We're going to go through some of these other uh, guides that they have as well, but we'll click here on Shoreline and we'll look at the map. So this is their interactive map, and this is absolutely insane. So there have been a lot of really, really well-made maps um, for Escape from Tarkov, and I've utilized them, and I've suggested the utilization of them for as long as I've been playing the game. Uh, there's so much information that the game doesn't tell you about, like spawn locations or extractions or where loot is or where keys are. And uh, the community has mined a lot of this stuff, and the Escape from Tarkov Wiki is another resource that's absolutely incredible. There's basically no question about Tarkov you can't get answered on the Wiki. Um, and this resource is kind of like melding them both together. The maps can be really convoluted and confusing to look at, especially if you're in a raid and you have the map up on your other monitor and you're just like, where's this extraction? And there's so many different icons on the map and you're trying to figure out where the extractions are or whatever. So this kind of brings us to... Uh, mapgenie.io at least it brought me here so this is shoreline and this is everything on the map um, all the little things but we see on the left here in the ledger all the stuff that it's actually showing so if i click on loot it pulls it unchecks everything enemies locations so now we've got a clean map here and we can take a look at whatever we want to look at so if i'm trying to do some cash farming and I'm just trying to figure out where they are. If I just click caches, boom. Now this is the 38 caches, which is an insane number that's on shoreline. And if you click on one, a lot of times it's gonna have a picture. It's gonna say uh, it's a barrel cache. So you know what you're looking for and a little description inside the blue fence, construction area, stand in the corner and look at the closest bush. The barrel is buried at the base of that bush. This is crazy. This is awesome. So now you can get super detailed information about what exactly what you're looking for. Um, and, and, and it shows you where all of them are. Um, so you can then uncheck that if you're just looking for keys. So Shoreline Right is, has an insane number of keys. And a lot of the keys that you need for Shoreline actually spawn on Shoreline. And so now, once again, here, I can see that the West Wing 221 key spawns on this lawn chair by the beach. And you know what I mean? You can just see that right there, all the different ones. So it's incredibly um, interactive. This really allows you to figure out exactly what you need. The extractions are up at all times, which is super nice. And the uh, you've even got the um, scav ones as well, um, which is awesome as well. And then some of the, the other ones. You can uh, pull up, um, let's see, extractions here. And you can kind of see a little bit more information, uh, like if it's always open, if it's a single use, you can see uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, but the names of them are always there, which is awesome. It even shows where quest items are, uh, all the different locked doors. If we come down here, it's also got the the map of the health resort and what's um, what keys needed and all that kind of stuff. So this is super nice. Uh, where spawn camp, uh, where uh, scav camps are. So there's tons of quests where you have to kill scavs at specific locations or with specific gear. So um, like, I didn't even know that scavs could spawn over here in the uh, like swamp area. But so this is it. This is an incredibly, incredibly useful tool. I mean, seriously, like just being able to figure out what you're looking for. I'm just looking for PCs because I need uh, capacitors. I'm just looking for jackets because jackets are a great way to find keys these days. I'm doing safe runs because I'm looking for uh, like bitcoins or teapots or rare loot or something like that. Um, 
this is awesome. A few of the other tools that it has as well is if down here in the bottom right, if you click on this, this is a sniping radius tool, which is insane. So I can put this, if I'm standing on the top of the West Wing and I'm shooting somebody in the power station, that's 250 meters. This is incredibly helpful if you play a map a lot and you're like, like Shoreline, I've been playing a lot recently, so I know that you can get up here and you can snipe pretty well. I know another decent spot is right next to the power station. A lot of times you can see people up on this ridge as well. And if you're going for shooter born and heaven kills, I know, okay, well, that's about at the 150, 125 mark. So I know that that's going to be a clean kill for shooter born in heaven up here on the weather station is a place that you can kind of hang right here. And you can see if you can catch people going into power, that's over a hundred meters. It's, it's just like a really interesting tool. It's this, it, you know, isn't just like a fundamentally game breaking or anything, but I found that super cool. It's a nice little addition that I think is awesome. Um, same with the distance measuring tool. So now you can see if I spawn back here and I want to run up to the entrance here to the east wing, that that is going to take me... Um, it's 582 meters. It's going to take me a minute and 23 seconds sprinting with a pistol, a minute 34 sprinting with a gun and three uh, minutes walking. Now, realistically, I would probably head um, around here and then through here and then have to climb up here. And now I can see a more accurate view. That's an interesting idea, an interesting thing too. That's pretty cool. Um, you can take notes as well. Um, you can drop a pin and you can take a note about something, which uh, once again, you can use this because you can actually create an account and then sign into your account and actually have your notes. Um, so you can say, I found this here or, um, or anything like that. If you're learning the game and you want to make a note of something specific, not something that they have here, um, you can, it, there's a pro version, which we'll talk about later that you can share those notes and stuff like that. So so this is uh, literally incredible. The spawn points is another thing I wanted to bring up. So the, we talk all the, I talk all the time about how like learning the spawns is one of the best things you can do and solves a lot of the frustrations of Tarkov where it's like, I die in the first five minutes of raid and I don't know where. Well, learning where the spawns are, it's not about going through to the 29 different spawn locations going, oh, I, I know exactly where everyone is, but Having this, like at the beginning of a raid, if you just, if you know the map decently well and you have this up on another monitor and you say, um, you know, let's say I spawn here, knowing that like most likely uh, no one's going to spawn here. You know what I mean? It's, these are kind of like groups together, but somebody could spawn here and they could be doubling back looking for PVP countless times. I've spawned here or here moving up towards resort. That's where I want to go. And one of these spawns, uh, not all of these would happen, like not all three, one of these three would happen. They push up to this little uh, radar tower or whatever tower, and they just wait for me to push through here and I get shot at. I've gotten to countless fights right here. So little stuff like that, knowing if I spawn here, am I the closest spawn to the resort? Probably not. If somebody got here, they're going to hit this wing a little bit faster than you're going to hit that wing. So if you have a quest over there, I know to beware. So stuff like that. The map is awesome. Uh, you can pull it up for all the maps reserved. They still have as a work in progress. So uh, it's not accessible yet. I don't think it's accessible in the pro version, um, but they're working on that, which makes sense because these are incredibly complicated, um, but you can zoom all the way in and out. Um, it's got the here. We'll hide all. So it's got the floors of the resort. So once again, if I'm looking for um, locked doors. You know what I mean? If I'm looking for safes, I do safe runs on customs all the time because on the second story, you can see there's two of the three story dorms and of the second story dorms, there's three. So there's five safes right here. I run this all the time. I always forget what rooms they are and forget what keys I need, especially after a wipe. I'm like, what room is it? What key is it? So now you can just zoom all the way in and see it's 214 and all that kind of stuff. So this is incredible on a map like this that has a scaf boss. There's a, a boss thing here, which lets you know, you know, he can spawn at the gas station or at the dorms here. This is, this is awesome. So these, these maps are incredible, super modular, shows you the information that you want to know when you want to know it, or it just gives you everything um, that's constantly being updated. Um, uh, like we said, reserve is the only map that's not there currently. Um, but if we go back to just the, their like main Tarkov page, 
they also have three other tools which this in and of itself was game <laughs> like game defining for me is like man if i had this when i was learning the game this would be absolutely insane but i went to these and these are also incredibly once again it's like merging all of the information from the wiki um, and maps and then also some of these other tools to kind of create like one resource that's uh, a lot more just like on demand what you need so the key tool is pretty cool because uh, you can kind of find what key you want so let's say the customs office key actually let's do the uh, the guard desk key so I can click on it to get more information it shows me the map that it works for the key location so if I click this it's going to pull up over here a super zoomed in on where the key spawns not the room that it unlocks but where the key spawns so if I zoom out here I see we're on customs second story dorms right here on the first floor that's where that key spawns by the dead scav and then if I click this over here it shows me the door that it unlocks this is super helpful for some of the shoreline keys that are found so east 306 is found on customs uh, all the way back here in big red uh, up in the customs office area and it goes to shoreline so now it shows me where the key spawns and where the key goes which shoreline is they're pretty self-explanatory east or west that but like guard desk key like what does that unlock you know so this tool can be pretty pretty awesome as well and then let's go back to the let's go back to the main page the ammo tool this uh there's a lot of ammo charts uh almost everybody in in escape from tarkov tells you learn the ammo charts learn the ammos learn whatever um but i remember even even outside of what's the penetration or the damage rating or all that kind of stuff as a beginner to escape from tarkov there's an insane amount of weapons there's an insane amount of mags there's an insane amount of ammo and it's, it can be really confusing just knowing what goes with what so what's really cool about this you can search for a weapon if you want but if i click the 8r it's going to pull me into just the mags that fit the ADAR, the ammos that the ADAR shoots, which is awesome. And then if I click an ammo, it shows me all the guns. So just the ADAR, it's going to show me this. But if I reset this and clicked um, the you know M855, now it's showing me all the guns that fits as well. So this is an, a really, really helpful tool uh, for newer players. Uh, magazines as well if I click on the AK it's going to show me the the mag if you find a mag and you can find it here you can just click on it and it shows you what gun so this is this is a really cool tool as far as I know it doesn't show the actual stats of the ammo uh, like if I'm clicking this stuff yeah it's it's not showing me what the actual ammo uh, stats are but it's more of a compatibility tool so if you're like really new to the game and th this stuff is was really confusing there were a lot of weapons that i didn't learn what type of magazines or anything it took for a long time I, I learned a few and i just stuck with them because it was super confusing so being able to just click these are the only mag options these are the only ammo options is really really cool if you're relatively new to the game uh, and then the last thing is the quest tool so once again, this is this is very similar to the wiki, right? Where it's just like your you see your quest, you see what you need to do, and you you know see what's next and what needed, what quest you needed to um, complete to get that quest. But uh, it also incorporates the quest flowchart here, so you can kind of see what's going to come next and stuff like that. Um, once again, this is kind of self-explanatory, but if you're searching for a specific quest, shooter born in heaven boom and you can get that right there you can share this with friends and stuff like that so um map genie i found this just the other day and i really just wanted to create something that shared this uh with you guys if you're struggling to learn the maps that's the kind of the main thing the bread bread and butter of map genie if you're struggling to learn the maps i would highly recommend bookmarking this and uh and definitely taking a look at it this can be super helpful um and then the key tool and the ammo tool are really cool as well uh, there is a pro version that removes ads, um, allows you to take an unlimited amount of notes. You can uh, suggest things to the uh, developers and stuff like that. Um, and it, yeah, removes all the ads. So 
uh that's pretty cool you don't have to i mean we just went through everything i created an account but i did not uh sign up for the pro version but if you if you really like this and you want to support them it's not very expensive to do that um and it's just uh it's just a cool thing i also found out that there's also an android and ios app and i checked it out on my iphone it's got insanely good reviews which normally apps for like maps for video games don't uh, and it looks like a really clean interface that's very similar to this so if you don't even have a second monitor uh, you can use your phone um, and and pull up a lot of this information as well which can be helpful because if you're just looking for specific information just where the caches are uh, that's another thing is it, some of the other maps that have all the information kind of baked in if you're looking at it on your phone it's really hard to like zoom in and find exactly what you're looking for but you can use these on your phone as well. So big shout out to the Map Genie guys. I'm going to link their Twitter down below and this site down below. I don't know how long they've been doing this. Oh, I haven't interacted with them or anything, but I found this and I really wanted to share it with the Tarkov community. So I hope this helped. I hope that uh, if you're newer to the game or if you're trying to learn a new map, uh, I didn't play Shoreline or Interchange. I avoided both of those maps like the plague until like last wipe. So if even if you've been playing for a while and you're trying to learn a new map, I would highly, highly recommend using this. And hopefully this definitely helps you get a little bit more proficient and confident in your raids. Thank you all so much, as always, for taking the time to check out this video. If you liked the video, think about dropping a like. That would be super helpful to me. And subscribe for more Escape from Tarkov content like this. I'm always trying to create content that helps shorten the learning curve of the game and gets you in your raids having fun as soon as possible. Drop a comment down below if I missed something or if you have any questions. And uh, like I said, I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. Uh, all the links down below, the Twitter link and the uh, Discord link as well. If you're looking for people to raid with or get help with or just talk Tarkov, the Discord is an awesome place to be. Thank you so much again for stopping by and I will see y'all on the next one.